Today's install, we're going to go over installing a three-wire Calamp device. These devices are very common for Fleetmatics, Fleet Complete, One-Step GPS. Um, a lot of your brands all still use the same device regardless of where your provider is from. Your fuse block is going to look similar to this. Three wires. Black is going to be your ground. Red is your constant. White is your ignition. What we're going to be doing today is a Volvo VNL 860. This is the brand new 860s. These are very, very different of an install from the former 860s where the dash had the cup holders on the right side that you could pull out where you get your two access screws. Those you cannot do that install like this in these. That side of the dash is bolted down completely separately. It's got bolts on the back side you have to get from the glove box. It's not a fun install trying to do it the old way on the 860s. On these new 860s though, I'm gonna go over where to go, how to put it there, how to get your install done and get your vehicle tracked. First thing we want to go over is you're going to have to get the safety bar out of the way. Um, this safety bar is actually blocking this lower plastic plate here that we're going to take out so that we can drop this, which is where all of our wire connections are for your panel switches up here, which today we're going to be getting everything off of the heat. All right, to get to all the wiring that we need to get to, we're going to be taking down this lower valance down here. We're going to be using the wiring that is off of the ignition switch. The ignition switch is always the best place to get any of your wiring from any vehicle as long as it's 12 volts or higher. So for this, we're going to take out a side screw, a T25. And then your fingers on this side of the steering column here. You're going to pull this back. It's going to pop. You're going to take out these two here. wiring you're going to get to right here you're going to have to work all this down and out take your time with it there is plenty of length in all of this you're going to be looking for one of these two black connectors the plug you're going to be looking for when you get all this pulled out is going to be the one with the gray and the blue plug. It's going to have your constant and your ignition, and it's also going to have your ground. Panel down, we've got our plugs out. We need to find the plug that's got a 12 volt constant and a 12 volt ignition. The way we're going to do that is we're going to ground out our voltmeter over here on the cigarette outlet. If one isn't in reach of your voltmeter, you can always use the bolts, uh, the bolt heads on the floor, any unpainted surface. What you're going to do is take your positive probe and you're going to do what's called back probing and you're going to go back side of this terminal clip and right there we got 13.9 volts, 14 volts. Alright, so that could be our constant or our ignition. We're going to find out which it is in here in a second. We're going to try another one. Okay, that's got 13.6 in it. I'm going to try this one here. It's got 14. Now, if you notice, it's above 12, but it's well under 14. That's 13.8, 13.7, 14.14. 14. Notice how this wire doesn't get to 14. This means it's an accessory in this case. So what we need to determine now is which one of these two wires here is going to be our ignition and our constant. So I'm going to leave my probe back on there we got 14 volts it's running turn it off I always recommend to pull out the key voltage dives to zero we'll start the truck back up voltage comes back on with the key and run voltage stays steady with the vehicle running that's going to be our ignition wire our constant wire because we know it's not going to be this middle pin because it doesn't have the same voltage as the other two we're going to probe in on this one we're at 14 volts, shut the truck off, take out the key, we're going to give it a minute here. Something pretty common on semis, if you've never done wiring on semis before, is you're going to hear a lot of air rushing sounds, clicking, those are all very normal things as 
relays lose their power throughout the truck, airlocks lose their power throughout the truck, etc. We're holding pretty good voltage, 13.5. So I start to check back up. We're back up to 13.9, almost 14 volts. It's going to be our constant. And this one over here, because it shuts off with the key and only cycles with the key, is going to be our ignition. Now when we go to wiring something like this, you want to make sure that the wiring is out, easily available for you to use. You're going to take your strippers. You're going to find your, depending on your gauge, you're going to use a different setting here on your stripper. You don't want to go so low that you crush through and you don't want to go so big. If you go too big, it won't strip anything. If you go too small, it's going to break it. So you're going to get your, your feel the wires are kind of want to rest in. You're going to clamp down. I twist here. I pull back like so. And you can take your voltmeter probe. You can take a poker. And you're going to put a hole in the wire like that. That hole is now where you're going to take your constant wire here from your GPS. Red wire. And you're going to stick it through that hole. And you're going to fold it over like so. It's going to be our constant connection there. We're going to take just a little bit of tape so it's cold out so it doesn't want to peel. Take the tape. Fold over and you're going to roll it around. An inch of tape is plenty in most cases. Now to make sure that that stays together, you're going to take a zip tie here. You're going to put the zip tie around. Cut this, and there's going to be your constant connection. Now, as we recall, our ignition is the wire just south of that. Take our strippers again, kind of see where the, the good fit is for the stripper. Goes a little bit of wire. Take your poker again. Poke through. Take your white ignition. And we're going to finish it up with a little bit of tape and a zip tie. Um, I do get asked quite a bit, you know, oh, we can just use T-taps and save the time. You could. You could. The constant and ignition wires that power those GPS devices are very sensitive to their voltage. And anybody who's been in automotive wiring or any electrical industry will tell you that T-taps are not reliable as this. This I can pull on. I can tug on it, I can stuff, stick this all up in there, it's not going to come disconnected, ever, unless you start cutting wires. T-taps, it'll come loose. The third thing that you're going to need for your install is your ground. Now, because of where this device has to go for this Volvo, and because the wiring length isn't really where we need it to be to go in other places to realistically put the device. We're going to do a poke and wrap on your ground. Uh, one way that you could find your ground wire, if you wanted to do it such as this, is go off of one of your known constants. Now, keep in mind that this your probe is now hot. 
so you don't want to touch any metal anywhere in the vehicle. If you back probe here, you're going to watch your voltmeter. It's going to show negative voltage. When it shows negative running voltage, that's your ground. Right now we're at 13 volts. So my gray wire is my ground. I'm going to do the poke and wrap again. Poker, take a wire, fold it around, take our tape, go around this way, put a tie on it. Cut that. And now we've made all of our three wire connections. Company is that we tape and tie the fuses off. Um, it provides good measure to make sure that one, you check that there's fuses in it. Two, that nobody can easily get in here without tools and start messing with the fuses, disconnecting things, making the device not work. The one way that you check all of your wiring is you're going to look for your device to be active. Oh, what's going to matter? Device to be active. Uh, you're going to have lighting on the box. They're going. Now that we got the three wire portion done of the GPS. We then fed the harness back up through here. We left all this stuff pulled out. We went up. We pulled out the ignition switch panel here. We also pulled out this vent piece panel here. Fed this wire up here. Now we're plugged into the device. Device is still on. You're gonna take your device and we're gonna stick it right on top of this air vent. We'll push it in. This wedge a little bit firm is great. Now you're gonna take some zip ties, all this extra harness here. We're gonna loom up, keep that out of the way. Take this, stick it back in. Now your GPS is firmly secured up above the vent. Your looming is out of the way. So now I'm gonna go through the step-by-step -step how to put this back together. Now we're gonna put all of this back together. We're gonna take our ignition switch panel piece here. I'm gonna slide this back in to its spot. in place. This piece here, you're going to line up with the vent. Take a little caress in here. There we go. That piece can go back on. Knock your vent piece back up. Now you're going to take the screws that you pulled out. Put them back in the holes you got them from. There is absolutely no need to crank down on any interior dash screws whatsoever. One click, maybe two, and you'll be good to go. Go back on there, go back on there. Push that back through. We're going to take our trim piece. It's this piece here. Now be careful on taking this trim piece out because this is a slide clip, which is what this is here. When you go to tape, put this in, you've got to put it in the slot slide it forward, then snap it in place. This first, then the back side here. Down here, you're going to take your wires once again, and you're going to stick them back up to where you pulled them out from.
I'm just pushing back and then tucking them up. Take your panel, snap it back up to where it came from, like so. You're going to put your 1T25 back in there. 25 back in there. Take your panel and snap back up. Your dash is now back together. Your install is now complete. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe as always. And we will see you again for another video. Thank you.